Hi, so I wanted to make some an update on my printer status. I've been making some progress. So, things I've uh, added, it's this switch. It's actually it's a normal AC switch. It would be nice to have a LED one that would also glow when it's on. This uh, this is a quite important thing because it acts as an emergency stop. If something goes bad, and uh, I've had some problem with these drivers. Uh, if you put power, if you if you first connect the five volts or the three point three volts, and then the, b before the motor power, these drivers don't work well. They have some problem. Anyway, it's good in emergency cases. Then I build this uh, distribution. Because I couldn't find something locally to buy, so I just uh, made it. It's made from uh, some aluminum tube. I wanted to use as a rail for this, for the bed. And I gave up. Uh, these are the 5 and 5 volts I used, for example, for this. So I just uh, used stuff and uh, I used the, the tap. The tap I used to put this. And just uh, tap some a bit of here, and you can screw it. Anyway, I did what I had. Works pretty well. I added this uh, voltmeter. It shows 24 volts, as you can see. Uh, what else did I add? I used this DC to DC converter to power an LED. See, it points towards the bed. So I can see it better. And I also put this switch so I can turn it on and off. Um, I've also added this. It's also a DC to DC converter for the bed. Because my power supply wasn't high enough. This bed draws 220 watts. And let me show you my power supply. It's from Minwell and it has 220 watts. It's 24 volts, 9 amps, 221 watts. I like this power supply because there's no exposed uh, high voltage. And you just have this wire that comes here with 24 volts. I wanted to buy an adapter because the power supply is quite expensive. I didn't want it to chop it, but I just couldn't find so I gave up and cut the wires. But it works quite well like this. Okay, I've, I, I've changed the um, ESP to, as you can see, it's a Raspberry Pi. The um, Pico one or Micro, how it's called. Uh, this was very easy to replace because I just swapped the wires and there it was. Oh, I also... As you can see, there, there are fewer wires here, if you watch or know of my previous videos. Because I decided to remove the... I had wires here on the right of every stepper. That was setting the... The M0 and M1 from these drivers where you set either the micro steps or the, the address for the... Serial. So I just remove those wires. As you can see, I also remove the the pins and just um, solder them on the back. So it's easier like that. So, uh, anyway, I'm using them as on serial now. I like it more like this. So there's no need to play around with the stepping. I just set this from software. It's much easier. And very few wires now. Okay, so I was talking, telling you about this, um, this DC converter. So when you turn on the bed, it draws 220 watts and uh, turns off the power supply and everything shuts off for like a microsecond. But it just didn't work like that. I couldn't use it, the bed. So I, I could either buy a new power supply, but I like this one, and or just uh, lower the voltage on the bed. So now when I turn this on, well, I need to put two more wires here. 
to connect the bed 24. So 24 comes here, the, the electronics turn on the transistor, 24 volts goes here, and this one you can just adjust it. And I, I think as I have now set it around 18 volts, and that lowers a lot the... And you can adjust it as much as you want. Okay. I think this is, let me see if I, oh, about this, uh, the software um, and stops that I had from here. I just didn't like them, especially with Clipper, there's an issue. When it homes, it doesn't, uh, actually the, the setting doesn't work after it homes here, it doesn't uh, go back. In Marlin this was working fine, but in Clipper I just couldn't make it work with uh, this. So the problem was when when uh, it homed on the y axis here, it put a lot of pressure on the belts and the uh, x wasn't moving anymore. So it was a big pain. I just solved it by by going to this normal end stop. I also played a bit with the uh, whole sensor, but that's not reliable yet. I will work. Maybe I'll make a whole video on end stops. Something else I change, I moved the, the probe, I had it before here on the back because it was easy to install, but it was too far and I didn't like it, if it was too far from the nozzle. So my solution was uh, to use one, one more of these, actually two, as you can see there are two of these, uh, I don't know how they're called, they're made for wood. Um, so I just put one here and one here like this and it's close. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close as you can see. As soon as everything gets fine tuned, I will just print a bracket from here and everything will be much better. So when I connected this one just with this clip, it just needs to put some in. So for now it's okay. Uh, I also put this so I can see when the drivers move because I had a few issues. Uh, let me see. Oh, I also moved back to PLA because I had some issue with the high temperature on the nozzle for melting uh, PATG. Okay, so I think this is everything on the hardware side let me show you so I installed the clipper with mainsail this is super great I really like it this interface it's super great you have everything here no more need to learn and type in uh, G code everything can be said look for example the fan Oh, can I really see it from here? See, it turned off. I just drag this and when I release it, bam, turned on. You have cooldown to start the heaters. Let me do an Y. Cal uh, there so we move it one millimeter one millimeter back see this works great and let's try the x oh see this is a problem i just use the emergency switch <laughs> and let's see what does he says here unable to come on focus unable to read this in TMC word separates. So it was going, if you notice in the diagonal, because the X doesn't work. This is an issue I've been having, and I think it's something with the power or something, I just didn't fix it yet. But this makes things much easier to fix. Okay, let's turn it on. 
Okay, I think you just need to remove this, turn the power on, maybe off a bit. On and just connect the let's see if the this fixes the problem. I didn't expect this when I was filming this, but maybe okay let's this one works and let's try the x okay works fine now see that's how you fix it this one is still using the software and so Okay, what else to show you? You click this machine link here and you have the printer config. You can just change any settings here. And just click save and restart. And then boom, you have your new settings on your printer. I really, I really love this about Clipper. Okay, I think this is about uh, all the new stuff. I think I will make a video on how to install and configure Clipper. If you are interested, check for that. Okay, thank you, goodbye.